Hey everyone, Shoin Kashi here at Astro Island. Are you like me where you enjoy going out every night, capturing the beautiful objects in the night sky? You come back home, you do your calibration frames, you run it through Pix Insight or whatever processing program that you have. But then there's that point where things begin to slow down, especially when you're using stuff like Blur Exterminator, Star Exterminator, and some of the other AI tools. And that's because in some instances, especially in my case, you may have a very slow graphics card. I have been delaying the inevitable for quite some time. And as I mentioned before, I enjoy imaging the night sky. I enjoy capturing the images. I enjoy running it through PixInsight and the other programs. But things come almost to a screeching halt, especially now when it's time to use a lot of these AI tools. So today, I have some good news for you. I finally bit the bullet and I now have my brand new 4060 Ti NVIDIA CUDA graphics card. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install it and how we're going to see a difference in performance when using a CUDA enabled graphics card, which is one of the main types of graphics card required for processing Astro images, especially now when using these AI tools. My name is Shuin Kashi and you're watching Astro Island. With the rise of all of these AI tools, especially in Astro Photography, we began hearing CUDA quite a lot. But what exactly is it? CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture and is a technology developed by NVIDIA that lets computers use their graphics card or their GPUs to do tasks much faster than a regular CPU could. So think of it like this. Your CPU or your computer's main brain is like a chef, great at handling one complex task at a time. A GPU or your graphics card is like a team of a thousand chefs, slower at single task but amazing at doing many simple tasks all at once. CUDA allows software to tap into the GPU's power for tasks like, of course like what we do in astrophotography, Photography, is AI and machine learning which is much faster. So CUDA is basically a bridge that lets programs use the GPU for heavy lifting beyond just graphics. So here I have my computer already opened up. This here is the graphics card, the old one. I think it's an AMD R270, which <laughs> basically, uh, it's a dinosaur and it has, it, it has done its time. So it's time to change it now to the brand new and much bigger NVIDIA graphics card. It's the MSI RTX 460 Ti GeForce RTX. So this is what we're gonna be replacing it with. So this one's gonna come out, the new one's gonna go in. Let's see how that fits. <laughs> it looks pretty big, but we'll see how it goes. Excellent, so the GeForce RTX 460 Ti graphics card has been installed. However, <laughs> one of the things that I completely overlooked is compatibility. So folks, I definitely recommend you check your manual for your motherboard to ensure that everything is compatible and the only thing that was not compatible was the power supply so i had to change it out from this one which was the old one the 500 watt to the new one which is a 650 watt right so and definitely the old one did not have what is called this particular item here an 8 pin connector for the pci graphics card the old one didn't have that this new one has it so let's power it up and let's see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully I don't blow up my computer. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So my computer did not blow up. Everything went well. The computer started up and now it's time to install the drivers for the graphics card. So we go to the NVIDIA website 
select the model of the graphics card and we begin downloading the app once the nvidia app has been installed we reopen the app go to the drivers category and begin downloading and installing the drivers for your graphics card Once your drivers have been installed, it's now time to go to one of PixInsight's forum. I'll put this link in the description down below. And it speaks about Russell Crewman. And he now has a repository whereby you can put it inside of PixInsight to enable GPU acceleration for PixInsight when using his AI tools and many others that now use CUDA enabled or GPU processing. So all we need to do in this instance is copy the link and we open PixInsight, we go to resources, updates, manage repositories, we click on add and we paste that link inside of here. We click OK, click OK again and we go back to resources, updates, check for updates. And it's now going to pull that information from Russell Crewman's repository. All right, so once that's done, this comes up. So it now shows that it's pulled the information. I usually like to select all and then click apply. Just going to download it. Once it's been downloaded, PixInsight returns a message that the packages have been downloaded. One was successful, which of course was the one we just uh, downloaded, which was the Russell Crowman's TensorFlow Accel GPU acceleration. We click OK. And of course, we must close off PixInsight and restart it in order for it to become enabled within the settings. So we click Yes to begin installing the updates. Once PixInsight has been restarted, we click OK. And the only way now to prove that it's working, we now need to open an image and run an AI tool. So we have the same image as before, and we're going to use SETI Astro's denoise feature again, or the script, um, known as Cosmic Clarity Denoise. Right, we're going to do a full denoise and this time we're going to enable GPU acceleration and let's see how it goes. And my oh my, <laughs> this is moving way faster than before. I can tell you that for sure. So let's leave it, let it run. I'll compare the time in which it starts and the time in which everything is completed. And this, folks, is a huge improvement compared to before. So let's take a look at it. It did some really, really good smoothing there. Let's go before. This is how it was noisy before, and we applied the SETI Astro Denoise. And it smoothed it out. And again, I just left everything at before, no particular settings were applied. This basically was to prove the difference in speed and performance when using a CUDA enabled graphics card. And just for the sake of argument, we're gonna try another application, another tool or script. And of course, it's Russell Kruman that came up with this particular repository that allows us to do that GPU acceleration. So, you know, of course we must give him that credit. So now we're gonna use one of his tools, the most popular one, Blue Exterminator. So, in this instance, I'm going to leave everything as is and we just drag and drop and let's see how fast it performs. And wow, look, look at those numbers go. It's going pretty quickly and again, much faster compared to using the previous graphics card that I had.
So again, definitely I recommend getting a GPU graphics card or a graphics processing unit um, that has CUDA enabled. And as far as I remember, only NVIDIA graphics cards allow CUDA. And that's it. <laughs> In less than a minute, I was able to run Blue X Simulator. Before, it took quite some time. So again, let's look, let's look at the performance. And this was before, and this is after. In less than a minute, Blue X Simulator was run, and I'm seeing the performance already. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to upgrade my graphics card. And I, I must admit, when I was using uh, Russell Crowman's tools and I'm using Seti Asho's tools and I'm having those conversations with them with the errors that I was getting before they were mentioning to me get a new graphics card get uh, get one that's CUDA enabled and I must admit <laughs> I delayed I, de I delayed for quite some time but that time has come we've upgraded and I thank Seti Astro and Russell Crowman for giving me that advice even though everyone else was telling me to, to upgrade my graphics card so thanks guys and i'm really happy and, and i'm really glad, glad in the performance that i'm getting out of this graphics card from my system so the power supply has been installed the graphics card has been updated and i am extremely satisfied with the level of performance of the graphics card the 4060 ti by nvidia when using PixInsight and the AI powered tools that require the use of CUDA. So let me know in the comments down below, have you upgraded your graphics card? What was the level of performance? What does it change in performance when upgrading from what you had before to what you currently use? Would you even consider upgrading or are you satisfied with how PixInsight performs with your current setup? Also, always remember to check the manual for your motherboard to ensure that whatever you're about to purchase or whatever you're about to install is compatible with your motherboard whether it be the graphics card whether it be the memory whether it be the cpu always check your motherboard's manual to ensure that whatever you're about to purchase is compatible don't forget to like the videos subscribe to the channel and i also have a patreon account so head on across over there to see what's happening and as always i close off by saying it's not the size of your telescope that counts, it's how you use it. Bye for now everyone, take care and I'll see you soon at Astro Island.